Okay, so today we're gonna be talking about open relationship. Have you tried open relationships before? Yes, I tried it once, but it was a big disaster in the end. Disaster? Yes, it was too complicated to manage it. Okay. So, he was too busy with other girls and mm -hmm. boys and everything. Okay. So, it was not enough space for a real relationship like I would like it. Okay. So, can you just explain a little, like, a little bit about what does it mean, like open relationship? Um, for me, it means that you have the freedom if you met someone and you like this person. Mm. Also, when you are in a relationship, you mm. can go into it and mm -hmm. try it out. Or Multiple people? Right? Yes, yeah. yes. But uh, it should not be that it is like, I need every day a new adventure, mm. additional to the mm. real girlfriend. Mm -hmm. So it is like crazy. So really, in the end, I, I was not sure what is mm. the difference between me and the other person. It's like mm. the, the relationship thing was like yeah. gone after a while. Okay. Because I never tried open relationship. Uh, but I'm just wondering the difference between, uh, do you know, uh, friends with benefits and open relationship do you know what I, do you know what I mean yeah, yeah. yeah what's what's the difference it's not yeah yeah for me the difference is that you love the other person on another level so when you have mm. friends with benefits you like the other person but it is not love and when mm. you try open relationship I really love this guy and I yeah. try to make it working yes so he said it is a need for him and mm. I said okay for me I want that he has everything he need in the relationship okay but it was like in the end it was not working for me because mm. I had very bad feelings every mm. time I didn't reach him I know that exactly he will be with someone else and I know it really oh. <laughs> so it was like okay um yeah. it is not nice so you have no time to have a lazy evening mm. or something like that okay because he was busy okay and this is like so the the nice part of a relationship is also to spend time to have mm. good discussions or also visit family mm. um and if the other person um prefer to meet other people in mm. this time it is difficult to to hold something like that on a good level okay so you say family so do you think your family your family kind of accept the kind of relationship or doesn't um they didn't know that it was open Oh, so maybe they believe, oh, that's your boyfriend? Though. Yes, I think so. They okay. thought it is a one-to-one. -one, okay. But it, I think uh, parents don't know everything about their yes. kids. They want to see what they know yep. and what they wish for the girl. Yep. So it didn't work well? No, it didn't work well. Oh. I think after two months it was like, okay, I need to go. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Um, so what about cheating? Do you think the cheating exists, those kind of relationships? Because you can have multiple partners, right? Yeah, it is difficult what is cheating. For yeah. me, cheating is when you don't talk about something. For mm. me, ex I have open relationships in my area and they work very well. Mm. But it is like they trust each other because mm. they are very open and mm. honest with each other. And mm. for me, honesty is more important mm. than that the person stay only with me. Mm. So, but cheating is really if the person is lying to mm. you. Mm. And also when the other person don't tell you and you didn't ask it is also like okay he should come yeah. and say okay I met someone I mm -hmm. will met her tonight mm -hmm. but I think the most work with this what I don't know okay. I don't get worried about mm -hmm. so with this logical okay but I don't like cheating so so let's me, honesty is more important okay so let's say if you are uh, open relationship with someone now and he doesn't tell that oh today I'm gonna meet with someone but you don't know anything uh, do, you, do you think the relationship will be ended? Yes. Okay. Yeah, it, it, it learns to protect yourself and your own feelings as well. Because oh, okay. if you develop feelings and you don't tell them, and then it gets more and more, yep. and then it gets to a point where you're like, okay, now I need to express it, and they're like, complete. Yes. Like they're just like, no, I'm not, I'm okay. not into that. Then yeah. you get hurt more. Yeah. In the end. And you're gonna hurt yourself. You, you yeah? Hurt yeah, yourself. yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. You agree with that? Yep. Okay. Hundred yeah, percent. What about the difference between one night stand 
and friends with benefits oh, i'm not one i'm not a fan of one night stands like because okay. i think with friends with benefits you still know the person a little bit there's a vibe and you know like you're you have a little bit more of an attraction towards them about like even with their personality mm -hmm. like there's a bit more fun with it whereas one night stands are like you don't know the person yes it's just based on like and usually it's when you're drinking and like you know you're on a vibe yep. or on a level whatever you want to call it yep. um but I'm not a fan of one night stands. Okay. Like, it just makes me feel awful about myself. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah stay so. I can think if you both agree on the terms, then it can be fine. But mm. I think if one person likes the other person, then it's not going to work and it's just going to end in heartbreak. Oh, I see. So it shouldn't be emotionally no, attached. You cannot be emotionally attached with friends with benefits, no. Otherwise, you'll get heartbroken. <laughs> Do you think it is, is that possible? For um, you? Yeah, I've had yeah that before. I think it is possible. Like uh, doing exercises? <laughs> <laughs> no, because no, no emotion, right? Yeah, no yeah. emotion. But it's it's. But it is really hard to not it's let It's hard. Yeah. I feel like you have to. I don't know. Having a good like open communication is good as well. Just to mm. make sure you're both on the same page at all times. Yes, definitely. So the, you you said okay. We're gonna be this kind of relationship. Yeah. Make sure you guys we are not like into it. Did it work? Yeah, it did work. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and now no more. Or still doing? Uh yeah, still doing. So it's oh, still working. <laughs> still working. How long? Um, a few months. Okay, a few months. Yeah. Not too long yet. Not right? too long. Okay. So it's gonna be continuing. For now, yeah. It's fine the way it is. What? Okay. So you looking for friends with benefit relationship? So I wouldn't say I was looking for that, but yeah. it just kind of happened to fall into that. Okay. Is this because of like you want like physically like Um I feel it, like it's because I'm not me right now as well, I'm not ready for a relationship. Like mm. I'm not in the mindset of like sharing my life 100% with someone right now so okay. I only really have to share like 10% of my life with this person <laughs> okay so now friends with benefits relationship but maybe next year you're gonna finish or yeah it'll to... eventually finish it'll eventually okay. die out <laughs> okay how often do you see the, this guy mm, like once a week well it's quite frequent yeah okay so do you always have sex so do you think it's gonna be your boyfriend or not really? Oh no. Really? No, <laughs> that's not what that is. No. It's just casual, fun, lighthearted. Okay. I don't know I should say good or not. <laughs> do you think like if you can do it it's good, but if you can't if you're not a person that can do that sort of thing then yeah, it's mm. not gonna be happy. So you're not going to like uh definitely have to have sex or sometimes can you get just coffee or with him, probably like, like you can just go grab coffee, but like, it's not coffee like. and sex. Yeah. <laughs> I think that's it. <laughs> okay, thanks for taking time. That's alright. Okay. Yeah. okay, what about one night stand? <laughs> Some people say that it's interesting. Some people say that one night stand is better than friends with benefits because they don't make like a you know relationship you just just have fun yeah, yeah, one night yeah. you know it's kind of easy you know yeah. what do you think um i tried it but often from a one night stand it got a more night stand because it was quite nice one so week one week i don't understand the logic of one night stand because when i some when it is matching with someone i don't want to lose this person after one time okay but i also had it during traveling for example especially if there is a big age gap or you want different points in your life and it makes sense not to continue mm. then i love one night stands to be honest okay so it can be three nights or one week it could be it could be it could be but i think it is very difficult to find the matching yeah. <laughs> yeah. I also were friends with benefits with someone and we tried now a real relationship before I 
got traveling. Okay. And it was like, yeah, you cannot make it sometimes working because for a relationship you also need the same direction you want to continue. Yes. And the same few on different topics and it gets too difficult and friends with benefits you can have very easily there. It is not important if if you go and you love the la same stuff or like yeah. the same films or yeah. small things. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Do you have a partner now? No, not yet. So you are open to everything? Yes, I am. <laughs> um, normally when you see me on the street, I'm always available for a good talk. Okay. Yeah, so not during eating, not during doing sports, <laughs> but the rest is perfect. Uh, bar? Bar is okay, yeah. yeah. Maybe cafe? Coffee is always a good idea. Coffee, okay. Yeah. Bookshop? <laughs> Bookshop, a library. I had one of the best matches during my travel in a library doing, oh. doing a community puzzle together. Really? Yes. I interviewed one Aussie girl and she said, my ideal first date is library. Yeah, it yeah. looks like. Okay. So according, according to the studies, only 15% of friends with benefits relationship become successful partnership. And the, one of the biggest problem was Let's say you have a you know partner and you feel like he likes you more than you like him or it can be opposite That's why it becomes You know toxic relationship or just finish You've already been put in a category if you're friends with benefits. So yeah. one person's always stronger. Yes c Like catches feelings opposed to the other one because you've started it off not meaning to have feelings yes. but there's always one person that will always catch feelings in a situation yeah. like that yeah. because this kind of relationship should be no emotional attachment. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. yeah which is hard eh? yeah no, I think um, it really also depends on your lifestyle like sometimes it can be quite beneficial that you know you get your needs met mm -hmm. um, as say yep. um, but then you don't have to put in that emotional attachment as well yep. um, because hey, your life might be really busy or you're kind of traveling along or whatever the case may be but yep. um, yeah it, it, sometimes people like develop feelings and then others don't but I think it just depends on like if the person expresses it or not because oh, okay. it's not really the other person's fault that you've caught feelings yep. um, as long as you make it known <laughs> you know yeah, yeah yeah like say like hey you know i'm just letting you know like i've like developed a little bit more like i do actually genuinely like you like uh -huh. how do you feel about that uh -huh. and you go based off that because communication is really important and oh. connections and communicate okay yeah all right thank you guys <laughs> yeah. you're welcome thank you thank you, thank you. Have a good day thank you <laughs>